Welcome back everybody. We had a request for red velvet cake today, so we're making a two layer. This is just a box when we made a homemade one several weeks ago, maybe even a couple of months ago. This time we're going with a little bit of an easier one though. Okay, y'all, the cakes have been done for a little while, a little over an hour now, I think. I helped the kids finish up their seat work. They're outside playing now. And I'm gonna go ahead and start supper. I've got some chicken boiling right here. We're gonna have chicken pot pies. When we get those in the oven, then we'll make the frosting for the cake and frost it. I was eating one of these butter cookies from Aldi. They are wonderful. While we're waiting on the chicken to get done, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the carrots and celery. And I need to get out my pie plates. Oh, and the pie crust. Let me grab those real quick. We're making two of these chicken pot pies, so I have two boxes of pie crust here. Let me go ahead and wash up these dishes real quick while I'm over here. I used to think I did not like chicken pot pie until I made this chicken pot pie. This is good, and I seriously, I promise, I my whole life have never liked chicken pot pie. Oh, I also need to get an onion and garlic real quick. A lot of times I use a rotisserie chicken. You can just shred it and be ready to go, or you could even get that already shredded rotisserie chicken from Walmart, or I know Aldi has it too sometimes. You had it 10 months ago? He's kind of looking for something that he had 10 months ago. Yeah. What was it? Bus. Oh, your bus toy? Hmm, what color was it? Mm -hmm. Have you seen one? Mm -mm, I haven't seen one lately. Did you check in your toy box under your horse upstairs in one of your bags? Yeah. You did? Mm hmm. Hmm. Did you check under the bed? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know where that thing is. Okay, so we got everything chopped up. I removed the chicken from here. We shredded it in the KitchenAid. I washed this pot real quick. Now we have half a cup of butter melting in here. Once it's almost melted, we'll go ahead and put in the carrots and the onions. I just do a really rough chop on the carrots too. Just, we like them to be that way, but you can do them, you know, really little if you want to. Now we'll go ahead and grab the seasonings. We need salt, pepper, ground thyme. We're also gonna need a little bit of flour, chicken broth, and heavy cream. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add the celery and the garlic. We'll let this keep cooking for just a minute or two. And then we're gonna put in two thirds of a cup of all purpose flour. I've already got the oven preheated to 350. Making sure I don't have a smaller thing of chicken broth. Oh, I see a little one. And I think that that little one will be enough. I just need about two and a half cups. Okay. Okay, we'll go ahead and put the flour in. Make sure we get everything coated. And I still have this on medium. Now we'll put the salt and pepper. and about half a teaspoon of ground thyme. Okay, now we'll put the chicken broth. Two and a half cups. And we're gonna put in one cup of heavy cream. We'll bring this to a simmer, then we'll turn it down to low and just let it simmer for about four or five minutes. Then we'll add in the chicken and the frozen peas, but you can leave the peas out if you don't wanna add the peas. I know some people don't like peas. I myself would be fine leaving the peas out, but Titus and all the kids love, love the peas. And this is gonna to start to get thick here. If we need to, we'll add a little more chicken broth if it gets too thick. While that's simmering, I'm gonna go ahead and put the pie crust in the pie plates. I'm just using refrigerated pie crust, but you can do homemade if you want to. I'm 
we're gonna go ahead and add the chicken. You need about three cups total. I wish that y'all could smell this right now. This right here, it smells like home. That's what it smells like. Now we're gonna add in the sweet peas and we just put about a cup. Like I said, you can put more or less or none of these. Now we just divide it between the two pie crusts, put the tops on, and they're going in the oven for about 45 minutes. If they start to get too brown on top, then we'll cover them for the last little bit. I'll set a, about a 25 minute timer and start checking them then. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing all the plains, and the mountains in reply. Echo in the joyous strings. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. The gladsome tidings be, which is by your helpless song. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. I knew that you like the box mix better than homemade. Yeah? He does. Every time I make a homemade. That is really good. He says something about it, but if I do a boxed one, it's the best. This Christmas, Sissy's favorite song is James Penguin. And this is now, I think, the 22nd time in a row she has played James Penguin on Tyler's little radio out there. And I'm sure that we all now know every single word to James Penguin. I think that's the name of the song. Penguin, James Penguin, maybe, I don't know. But he's Santa's secret spy. Like when it gets to almost the end, she'll be up here to start it over again. <laughs> I bet I've got a story that you haven't heard. Did you know that Santa <laughs> has a secret agent for Okay. Here we go. Trick shot. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. That was a great trick. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of move we get. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this one. This one right here is going to really make it. Oh! 
Watch, now I'm gonna accidentally hit Tyler again. See, see that? See how I called that shot? <laughs> and he's gonna put it, the eight ball side pocket and I lose. <gasps> Did you see that? Oh my goodness, watch this. Watch this, I Tyler. can't believe it. No way. Right I won. No. This is the first time I think I've ever won. Who we got tonight, Manny? What's his name, Walton? Uh, Wilbur. What is his name? Woody. Woody. Woody and Fuzz. Huh? <laughs> Woody the cowboy is worried because somebody drew all in this book. <laughs> he wants all the toys to have a Merry Christmas, but there's so much to do. Buzz Lightyear tells Woody not to worry. All the toys will help get ready for Christmas. Woody's still worried. He wants a white Christmas. Buzz is sure it will snow. Was the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a Not even a squeak. <laughs> not even a mouse. Thanks to all his friends, Woody has a wonderful white Christmas.